And so we will play Stronghold Kingdoms, which I guess works out because I do need to get into Stronghold Kingdoms. Oh, of course, Arc wants to update. Of course it does. So we tried Anno Online. It was just not working. So I bet you if I go back into it after I'm done streaming, it'll work fine. So I think maybe streaming might be interfering with it, but we'll see. We'll see. If so, I will have to create a recording. I will re record a session of Anno Online and uh, see how that goes. But in the meantime, let's go back to our staple here because I do have to check in on various worlds etc etc but we're going to do usa 3 here because there's a lot of action we need to catch up here on usa 3 let's play some stronghold kingdoms Play some Stronghold Kingdoms. Aha, there's a splash page. Tell me it's loading. Stronghold Kingdoms. So in the meantime, like I said, I am playing for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. That's my local hospital. Uh, I am a member of Judgment Gaming. Uh, it's a group of, uh, it's a handful of us that, um, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. Let's move this up. Over here. That met through uh, Star, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic Guild, um, um, originally known as V-Squad, and then we uh, ended up joining the multi-game guild of um, Judgment Gaming. So there is a website out there. I showed it in one of the previous videos, but if you go to judgment-gaming.com, uh, you will be able to uh, check us out, join us up. So let's see what my free card is. It is a small cheese hall. I get 1,400 uh, rolls of cheese added to my granary. Okay, so USA 3 here. Oh, looks like we've got a stash here we can take care of. Boom, boop, 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 boop. Uh, first things first, let's see. Oh, we've got some disease. Oh, we got disease all over the freaking place. I tell you, ever since we uh, launched into age 2, really, this is age 3 on this world. Um, the disease is just, I mean, it's just freaking uh, pain in the butt. I just can't stand it. Disease, disease, disease. So let's do this. Let's go recruit some monkeys. There we go. Okay, so let's send it. everybody out we can send out. So Bucks is getting cured. Hudson. Uh, what's Hudson? 10. Okay, so you know what? We will do this. We'll send out of Hudson. Or send to Hudson from here. Uh, Ocean we will send from here. Good. At least there we are. I only need one monk per uh, parish right now. Uh, South Philly, we will send from South Philly. And Chester, we got a lot down south here, so let's go South Philly. Uh, disease that way. Let's go send one to Atlantic City. Do, 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 do. And we will send to Chester. Oy, oy, oy. And this is where a lot of the disease, at least southwise, is coming from. Is all these parishes that are not getting cured. So to Chester. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye out on Trinitaria here. Uh, so now three there, two there. That way I can minimize my costs here. All right, so we just have Wilkesbury left. All right. Ooh, iron, sweet. Could always do with more iron. Let's make this easy. Go get some iron. I sent my monks there, my scouts out there. Okay. See what we got here. Stash forged. Yes, iron gets a little so glory points. So let's check out our glory points. He's giving us Dalmar. Okay. Uh, spouse 
Zaldor97? Okay. Delmar. Delmar. So Delmar really raking in some of the glory points here. Thank you, Delmar. Keeping us in the race there for now. Although for the most part it is pretty much a foregone conclusion. So Monk Restoration. What we're pretty much doing right now. Restorations. And Influence. So we uh, sent a monk out to vote in Powerful Penguin. Uh, into uh, the parish there. Not exactly sure if Powerful Penguin is active so uh, we want to make sure that remains in house 2 um, Prince Ed, uh, Engrand, en Engrand uh, is actually going to be moving into that parish to take it over so we just need somebody into uh, Wilkesbury there then we need to figure out what's going on with these guys here they're neutral no faction no house see if they're interested in joining us oh excuse me See more glory points. Crabby. All right. Cra oh, that was a lot too. Thousand. Do, do, do Dalmar again. Dalmar again. Dalmar. More restorations. Like I said, just we've been rest restoring every time I've I've come on here, as you can see. Um. Every time I, I, I check, pretty much every time I check in on on the uh, world, I need to freaking restore, cure disease. So as you can see, there's a ton of disease that's popping up around us. Alright, so we're good there. So this is everything else. Oh, look at that. Uh... Yeah, see, the old reports show back up if I log into a server uh, twice twice in a row. Then all of a sudden the old reports show back up. 40 days ago. We don't need anything from that long ago. So we will now officially clear them out of reports. So 37 days ago we actually landed in age three so just over a month ago so this is all stuff from back then clear out real quick okay there we go so some of the stuff i do actually want to hold on to all right there we go so, uh, if you saw our last episode uh, featuring uh, USA 3, you'll notice that I lost uh, my Liege Lord for uh, three of my villages. Well, thank you to Rashid Malik. He is now my Liege Lord for uh, those three villages. So, I'm getting, getting honor points back again. So, as you can see, uh, basically, you know, they can send troops that you can use for defense or, or they can use to attack from your village. Uh, but the big thing here is getting honor. Um, adding up that honor that you need to rank up. For that. So, of course, our forging our iron. Okay, so there we go. Oh, more glory points, Dalmar. And thank you to Louis Sue for sending us some iron to our villages as well. As well as Prince Engarand. Um, just uh, didn't have enough iron production and iron reserves stocked up. So I needed some iron to uh, get caught up. Now that we've got enough iron in our villages, we should be able to keep our production um, caught up, getting maxed out here. Nice. Okay. Uh, more glory points. Ooh. Again, some big numbers in there. Kay to Sanders. So a few different people. Oh. That is the siege camp, which we will be looking at too. It's pretty much all the attacks we have to uh, review is just siege camp attacks. Pretty much the only thing going on right now, since until I can build up the parish army. 
So we'll go from here, 200, 400, perfect. Do, 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 do. That would be nice, excellent. I can't attack, so let's see here. Can I... Let's pop into Philly here real quick. We should be almost done. Yeah, castle completed, so... We had about three or four days of construction. I think it's been five days since I actually did a video here, so... Uh, construction is now complete. So what we want to do is see what we can build next. So I got tunnelers, right? So what we need to do is rank up a few things here. Build a few things too. Uh, do, 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 do. So what we need here is four. One, two, three, four. You know what I can do? Cancel that. I can do this the easy way. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, cancel that. So I think if we go here. Right, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, that will be perfect there. So we will confirm that. Let's see now, does that block us from being able to throw this down? Yeah, pretty. Oh, no, you know what? We wouldn't be able to throw this down anyway, would we? Oh, we don't. You know what? We don't have enough stone yet. So that's next on the agenda here. Let's send some stone this way. Uh, you know, I guess I should uh, check to see if I need to repair, huh? Nothing needing repair there. We're set. The Melusa, we're good. Ah, Terraminia. It's been attacked by the siege camp, so we will need to repair there. Uh, nope. Alright, that's it there. Check Trin. Trin is completed, so we can actually throw down something here. Boop, just like that. Good, so that gets construction there. So now, uh, let's get in here. So 2550. 25, 23. So I'm not actually maxed out here. Uh, wood. So what we'll do, we'll send wood. Uh, we'll send 2,000 wood up to Philadelphia. We don't want to sell it, we want to send it. Alright, let's just do this the easy way. Okay, there's that. Excellent. Ah, our first restoration. Okay, so let's make sure we have all our monks in order here to minimize the cost. Because the more monks you need to recruit, uh, the higher the cost, actually. So, let's see, so Teutonius, 40, 40, 40, 40. So it's 40, even though I only have seven monks. If I needed two monks, uh, it would be 50 gold, then 40 gold. So the two monks would actually cost me 90 gold. So by doing this, I'm actually saving myself 10 gold pieces. And if you uh, have zero monks, uh, the initial monk you recruit, I think, costs 150 gold. So you, uh, you can minimize how much gold you spend when you're sending out monks by only sending out one at a time, then re-recruiting before the next one is used up. Oh, I think I might actually be able to grab that from here, huh? Yep, perfect. So let's go scout that. Okay. Droney, hi! Droney, welcome to the stream. Now that we're actually able to uh, stream something, I was originally going to try to uh, stream Anno online, but too many connection issues, I couldn't do anything. So we popped in here to our old staple of Stronghold Kingdoms for day 44 of 100 days of gaming for Extra Life. So I guess I should uh, redo the introductions here. 
because uh, I didn't even stop the recording. So we're gonna have I'm gonna have to actually upload this from the highlight then, won't I? So I am BJ Waller, aka Real Millennium Group. All right, so we want to get into Philly because we need to build up uh, not South Philly. We don't own that parish. We are steward here. Uh, can I build that? No, I need to wait two more days. Okay. Beefed up our iron production through donations here as well. So we can actually see we're almost max there, almost max there, almost max there. Actually, well, I did do a lot of good information at the top of the broadcast, so I think I will just keep that in uh the highlight i suppose but anyway playing for extra life what is extra life extra life is a chance for us gamers to give back to our gaming community community um by raising money for the children's uh, miracle network hospitals so as you see i've raised 135 dollars 100 percent of anything raised by us gamers goes to uh the hospitals we don't get any of it extra life doesn't get any of it so that's uh good thing there so what do we need i can do 2000 let's do that as i said earlier as i was trying to get anno online to work is uh i i'm shooting for one even just one dollar at a time that that's pretty much how um children's miracle network has raised the bulk of its money since 1983 one dollar at a time with the balloons um and working with other other businesses and stuff like that to, where you know they will set up fundraisers and raise one dollar at a time like i mentioned earlier miracle treat day with dairy queen you know your local sam's club um you know and of course any business that has the the little paper balloons that you can write some a message or what have you on one dollar at a time so that's what i'm shooting for I, as i said earlier uh, comparing it to sewer, it's cheaper than a movie. You know, we're playing for a hundred straight days here, uh, which is what one hundred days of gaming is leading up to the main event. You know, you know, I'm I'm, I'm making a video um, for one hour for each day, and you know that's cheaper than a movie. If you only donate a dollar uh, through one of those videos, hey, it's cheaper than a movie for one hour of entertainment. Hopefully, hopefully you're entertained, but. that's that's what i'm shooting for and, and at some point i'm going to try to look into to see and get some rewards for higher amounts and stuff like that but i still have to look into stuff for that so let's see here what i really need i really need to start doing turrets too but they are also six days oh yeah we can uh Definitely bump up our pike and destroy yards. Anything else take weapons? Uh, yeah, you know what? Tunnelers. Tunnelers will be a little bit more effective at the moment. We'll send you five pikes. We will send you... Uh, what can we send you? That's a good question, actually. Uh, oh, so I hope that's Trin. Uh, 70. Oh, yeah, so you know what? I can... I need to recruit my army. I need to recruit my army. So, hmm. 20, 30, 30. Okay. Of course, I need the spare peasants for monking right now. Good scent. Oh, hello. More iron forged. What do we get here from Trin Wood? Okay, not really necessary. There's a restoration in bucks. Ah, da, 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 da. so where are we heading out there? Still heading to Chester, heading to Atlantic City. All right, Ocean's almost there. And what do we got? Hudson. Okay. Trying to decide what I need to do here. Well, we do need to upgrade tunnelers, so let's try to do that. At least get close to it. So we will go um, 20. Let's see, Melissa. 
twenty. Tonius twenty. So that'll leave us ten shy. Eh, all right. You know what then? Five. And the Melusa. Okay, good. That gets that squared away. Har, har, har. Do I need to vote? Don't I? Boop. There we go. Thinking of it. So, okay, so good. We got a little bit more peasants coming out. So, we upgraded that. We upgraded that. What we need to do now is make a purchase of stone here for the parish. 1760, perfect. That'll keep us over 50,000. That's perfect. So, boom. Boom. Alright, you know what? Let me get my little notes here as well. Going here eh, quickly. We'll do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Alright, I uploaded Island Warfare and Global Conflict, so we're good. Yes, a three for today is uh, parish donations. Shins building up uh, uh, castles a wee bit. Uh, healing parishes. And uh, we're going to be reviewing siege camp attacks. So that's pretty much what we got on the agenda for today. Good file save. Close that out. I can uh, close that out for now. Uh, what we did want to do, of course, is review the glory rates here. So, okay, two glory rounds said and done now. House 10 winning. When was the last one? Two days ago. So they're averaging about over 250. Uh, 250,000 glory per day. So, I think is I, I forget how long the glory rounds lasted here. I know I checked last time. I will say, I think it was three weeks, something to that effect. But there we are, still hanging in there. Where are we at now? First, second, third, 28th? Fourth, yeah. First, second, third, fourth. So we're in fourth place right now. Which really, I mean, completely meaningless. Either you're winning or you're not at the end of the day. On restoration. All right. Teutonius is cured ocean. So we're going to go in there. We recruit our monk. And we've got, oh my goodness, no bows. No bows to recruit at all. Now let's see. For 100, I guess I want to do 64. 40. I think that's how I usually do it, uh, troop-wise. 60 archers, 40 pikemen. Okay. Alright, we're good there. Map here, so let's see. The south still has 15, so. Oh, yes, our. Uh, the rogue faction there, Division 303, uh, I believe they've joined House 6 now. Let's take a look at what's been going on with them. So, three of them have been reset right now. Raspy, Powerful Man, and uh, Akubus. Have all been reset uh, for the moment by House 10, presumably. So, Dermic still got some uh, Volges and Zepka here, or Zipa. So he's actually he's in South Florida. So he's really uh, the oddball out down here. There's one of his villages. Oh, there's the other one there. Fort Lauderdale. So it doesn't look like he's going to be too much of a threat, so that's why he's still hanging around. Oh, okay, we got a few people North Miss. All right. 
So I have 16 with some territory. A few other houses here. House 4 is the bright green. House 15 is the bright blue. Don't recall what uh, color house 12 I think this is. This might be house 12. Yes, house 12. But there's the state of the map for the time being. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do next here. Yeah? I think we got through most of our other... Ooh! Monk Restoration, Theomalosa in Hudson. So let's go re-recruit Theomalosa. There we go. Theomalosa on the Hudson. Okay, so that's actually good, good. South Philly, good. Ocean, good. So we're still heading towards Atlantic City and Chester. Let's see. 845. 745. So this guy's going to hit a minute earlier, so i got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so let's get some troop recruiting here. Um, for minim as minimal as we can, so we will go... So we'll just take all three. Uh, for there, since we've got no bows, uh, we'll do a bowman here. Mm, boop. Uh, Terraminia, we'll do a bowman there. And Trinitaria, we'll do... I've got to remember, i got to leave one peasant, so we can only do... We'll do uh, one, two. Just such as that. Okay. Do, do, do any research? Nope, no research points. How am I for ranking? 200,000? Ooh. Actually, rank something up here. Can I rank up if I so desire? Blacksmithing. You know what? Have I built my... I don't think I have any sword production yet, do I? Nope. Uh, how about the other villages? Pole turner, blacksmith, okay, yep, so we're good there. Uh, Femalosa, where are you here? Okay, good, one of each. And Teutonius. Yep, one of each, excellent, okay. So we need up oh, Trin. We need Trinitaria. Uh, we've got one, but that's okay. So let me see here. So, so blacksmith and armorer. I guess we'll start with the armorer. That way we can keep recruiting pikemen. Uh, the swords will, for the most part, will just be for donations at this point in time. So that was five there. I guess we'll park you there for five. All right, there we go. Beautiful. All right, in the meantime, let's take a look at what the siege camps have done to us. So what do we got here? Enemy arrived in South Philly five days ago. I think it's uh, achievement charity iron. Ah, for trading to other players. That is sending uh, Louis Sue some wine. Enemy tramps uh, advancing in large numbers. Enemy is vanquished in South Philly. Okay. So we can delete all the South Philly attacks. So this was South Philly, South Philly, South Philly, which is advancing in large numbers in South Philly. And then, we, okay, the final attack was stopped by diplomacy. Good. That makes sense. Nice. And the initial attack was stopped by diplomacy. Excellent. Okay. So these are the South Philly attacks we can take a look at. So let's do so, shall we?
All right, there we go. Excellent. Oh, restorations. Uh oh, I forgot. We got so tied up with that, but that's okay. It's only costing us an extra 10 gold at the end of the day. Oh, I don't have the monk to re recruit anyway, do I? Ha 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 ha. I'll have to uh, let's shut you down. For now, so we'll do that. Turn you back on, thank you. There we go. Alright, so we're all good. So, okay, so let me do this because I did want to uh, get uh, get some of the information uh, back on again for this part of the stream that I was uh, talking about while I was trying to get Anno Online working. So let me do this. And uh, let me try something else. Um do this commercials there we go. so to speak so I want to try to clean up my extra life information here as much as I can here real quick while we're doing this and then uh, we're going to talk a little bit extra life so as I said um do 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 Um, Extra Life is a way for us uh, gamers to give back to our communities. Um, 
Oh, I need to put Grayson in there. Okay, there we go. To give back to our communities. Um, by raising money for the Children's uh, Miracle Network of Hospitals. Um, I am playing for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, so 100% of what I raise goes to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, when you sign up, if you would like to learn more about Extra Life or sign up to participate, as I said, you, all you have to do is be able to play a game, whether it's a computer game, um, a console game, a Wii game, a card game, um, a mobile game, a Facebook game, what a board game, a tabletop game, um, a base, a family baseball game out in your backyard. Mini, if you go out to a mini golf course, you can do extra life. If you play mini golf out there, you can do extra life. Sign up. Raise money for your local hospital. It's awesome stuff. You're helping sick kids get better at the end of the day. 100% goes to the hospitals, um, and it helps these hospitals treat kids with cancer. Treats kids with a serious injury or illness birth defects you name it uh, regardless of the family's ability to pay that's why extra life and the children's miracle network is so important um, because we could do these things uh, because these hospitals couldn't really do these things without us um, you know raising money for them and of course you um, as either a participant and or a donor sending money to these hospitals i am participant and i donate i donate five dollars to everybody on judgment gaming that's the team so you can join a team when you sign up or you can play solo you can create your own team but i i'm playing with judgment gaming which is a, a few mates of mine from a star wars the old republic guild um and so everybody for everybody who's on the team i donate five dollars to them to their hospital to help a sick kid somewhere out there um get better so uh, let me do this before we go on to uh, reviewing more um, Siege Camp attacks. I did want to bring up, oh, that's us on Miracle Treat Day right there. Enjoying our blizzards. So uh, Miracle Treat Day in uh, the end of July uh, for the United States. August 11th for Canada. But what I did want to do, let me go back in here. I wanted to talk about Grayson here. Grayson is one of the kids I am playing for. So there we go. There's Grayson. So what is Grayson's story? When Katie Berry belts out the lyric, I am a champion and you're going to hear me roar, Grayson can't help but sing along with her. He loves her song Roar and can certainly relate to it. When Grayson was two years old, he started complaining that the room was spinning. Fast forward several weeks to his di diagnosis, excuse me, an inoperable brain tumor and the start of chemotherapy to shrink or maintain the tumor's size at two years old. I have a daughter who will be turning two in three weeks. I could not imagine, um, I don't want to imagine getting a, getting, uh, um, a note or, or getting a, something from the doctor like this I I just can't imagine it would it would it would probably kill me if 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 my daughter had the same diagnosis as Grayson here but let's get on with it less than a year later Grayson suffered from another devastating injury he was in a lawnmower accident that resulted in the loss of four toes and a partial amputation of his foot this kid, two years, two and three years old, you know, he's already uh, suffered more than most of us do in in more, in two lifetimes. Praised for his optimistic attitude, Grayson hasn't let these traumatic events get him down. He thinks of himself as the comic book character Iron Man, whom I actually he's. Iron Man happens to be one of my favorite characters as well, and lovingly refers to his primary oncologist as Dr. Octopus. Just like Iron Man, Grayson has turned his own medical challenge into an opportunity to fight back. So if you're not familiar with Iron Man, Iron Man uh, is uh, this uh, comic book character. Uh, his alter ego, his real life persona is uh, Tony Stark is, is the name. Um, and Tony Stark was a weapons dealer and um, 
or at least in the movies. If you saw the movies, that's why he is. I believe he still is in the comic books. Uh, I believe that is still hold true. But uh, at the end of the day, what happens is Tony Stark receives an injury to his heart. And w in order to save his own life, he creates this suit of armor to keep the shrapnel away from his heart. And thusly, he becomes Iron Man. So, just like uh, Iron Man, Grayson has turned his own medical challenge into an opportunity to fight back. And let me do this real quick because YouTube does not like this audio. Okay, thank you. Fundraised through the Children's Miracle Network at CHOP, a.k.a. the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, help to make things just a little bit easier for patients like Grayson and his family. 100% of the proceeds stay local and benefit vital patient care programs and services that truly make a difference in the life of a child, helping them to heal and cope with the health care experience. And Grayson, you know, kids like Grayson, are, are one of the reasons why I Extra Life, why I participate in this year after year. This is my fourth year doing it. Extra Life has been around for eight years. So this is, this is you know, Grayson is one of the kids why I Extra Life um, and why it's so vitally important for me to be able to do this and to ask people. I, I usually don't like to ask people for anything, really. I like to do things on my own. I don't like to ask for help or anything like that. But this is one of the few times where I like, I, I am compelled to go out and ask people to donate money um you know just for an hour of entertainment watching this video just donate one dollar right here to my page you can go right there and that goes right to the hospital that dollar um that dollar will go a long way don't think a dollar means a lot it does you know because we have five billion dollars raised by the children's miracle network of hospitals uh, since 1983 one dollar at a time uh, for the most part. So $1 does go a long way. So that's all I'm really asking for. Anybody who's watching this video, just donate a dollar um, and help uh, a child um, get a better life, hopefully, at the end of the day. So, and again, participate. The more of us who we have participating, so sign up. Sign up, too. Like I said, if you play a game, you can be you can be a participant. The more participants we have, the more money we can raise for these kids. And um, if you do happen to be a streamer, of course, being a streamer is not a prerequisite. You do not have to stream in order to participate or raise money. But if you are, please, please, please join us on the Extra Life live stream team. So let me pop in here again and go to the Extra Life channel. So you can see uh, the Twitter and Facebook um, official accounts for Extra Life there, Extra Life for Kids. Same thing with Twitch. Uh, we do have a Twitch page here that the or Twitch um, channel uh, that is used by Extra Life throughout the year. Uh, currently, we uh, as members of the stream team uh, are permitted to use this and stream and do exactly what I'm doing right now. That's playing games and talking about Extra Life. So if you are a streamer, please sign up to participate in Extra Life. If you are already a participant, please join us on the stream team. We need to, uh, we need to fill ourselves up here. So if we, if you go to, uh, Extra Life for Kids, the Twitch channel here, do, 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 do. Oh, there I am, BJ Wilder playing Stronghold Kingdoms. Here's one of our other stream team members, Vazio82. He's playing Ark. All right, so let's scroll on down here underneath the uh, the channel. So if you go right here, stream schedule. So if you go to uh, Extra Life for Kids on Twitch, uh, you can go right here to the stream channel. And this will uh, bring you to the stream team schedule page. So uh, I'm, uh, I used to do Wednesdays right here. I used to be right here, Wednesdays 9 to 11. Uh, starting this Sunday, September 11th, I will be streaming from 9 to 11 on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. So you see all this green here? That means these are open and available spots. But again, um, if you um, if you see a spot that's already taken, that's blue here, um, sign up for that spot anyway. Uh, right now, everybody in blue are still fulfilling uh, their their requirements. Basically, all we ask is for an eight week commitment. So eight streams. Um, 
on the channel so all these guys here in the blue are still uh going towards that everybody here you see in the green has fulfilled those commitments and have decided to um keep streaming uh, which is great you know you join the stream team you can you can you know, sub for somebody who cannot make their show or you can do a pickup shift what we call a pickup shift so if uh, you happen to be on thursday uh, if you happen to have some time thursday from three to five and say, one week and say hey you know what i got nothing better to do let me pop on um and stream you you can do that so please join us lots of green here we want to fill up we want to make this a solid blue here so as you can see here hey i'm willing to get, give up my uh, my i've moved the time slot i'm still willing to give that up for somebody who might want to come in here and stream 9th 11 i want to fill this up we have a great team here great bunch of guys we need some gals so please please if you are a stream team member go to the extra life stream click that link and then you can see here click here for details on joining the team right here on the stream team schedule so fill this up and come watch us um tuesday right now tuesdays uh, through sundays the more people we get we can open up mondays and stream seven days a week that would be awesome that's what we're looking for so please if you're a streamer sign up to join extra life join us here on the stream team um it's great it's it at the end of the day it's great fun um for a great cause so now that we've got some of that done with let's get on with uh finishing things out here. I think we've got all the disease around us cured for the time being. We're good there. Uh, let me see if we've got any peasants left to recruit. I don't think we do. All right, we've got a recruitment in, so good. So what we've got here, we've got more enemy attacks here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was a three-day siege camp in South Philly. Uh, let's see, enemy launches, enemy launches. So what I want to do is just save those. Oh, Mark. So I can just track to see how many attacks we get hit by. So let's see, one, two, three attacks so far in Philly. Some stop by diplomacy. Was it a day ago, 10 hours ago? Okay. So I don't need these. I only need to save the diplomacy ones if all three villages manages to stop the same attack. So we can get rid of those now. And so that's what we got left. But first, let's pop in here to Philly because I forgot. I need to build some stuff up, don't I? I need to throw down some... Uh, so there we go towers that's perfect actually that's beautiful so we'll throw that tower down uh, we will throw you know what let's do this too I think we only need 400 right yep perfect that'll fit there so I want to make sure I think right there is where I can go with that and we can go boop, boop, boop. Right, there's one two three four so perfect so that's where the turret will go turret will go here as well one two right yep perfect so we will confirm that we'll go in here throw this tower down here like that perfect uh, I think I need to rank up right because I want to get some moot in here too so we will need to rank this up as well right yep so next level so we do need all right, I need to donate some swords here let's go um, five from Fimelosa five from Terminia and Teutonius five for now uh, let's see pikes who has maximum pikes so we'll donate five from there all right there we go all right so that gets us a little bit closer of course we need lots and lots of bows it helps that I do have travelers away with me here too so she helps with lots of donations as well so we should be able to rank a few things up in no time once she gets on and uh, throws some more donations our way. Ooh, look at that. Let's go grab this. Stash. 
And uh, I think that's it, right? We're good. Oh, no. You know what? Oh, one more. Yes, absolutely one. Oh, I can't do that one. This one I have to do. One more. Hmm. Now I could split it up like that. If I can go this way. Actually, can this go? Let me see something. I do that way. I think I can go this way with it, right? A little bit more. Yeah. And I can do that. I'm trying to think if there's any benefit to doing that or leaving it slid over more. See if I can, there's be other things that could squeeze in here, but I don't think there is really, so we'll leave it at that. So we'll leave it just like that. There we go. Boom. All right. Good. So that gets all the towers built. That gets our oil pots built. Parish is coming along nicely. We'll be finishing that off. Finishing that off in another few weeks, I think. And all said done, of course, we need those donations and more buildings to uh, be built. Of course, we got to throw in a Castellan's house at some point, too. Rank up the keep. I can't see the keep now, can I? Woo -hoo. Kill them towers. All right. So let's see what this was. Ah, cheese down. Me cheese. Thank you. All right, so let's get on with it. Let's. Uh, we've pretty much gotten everything wrapped up now. So let's uh, finish off by uh, taking a look at more of these siege camp attacks. Eh?
All right, there we have that. It's beautiful. Three attacks there so far from the siege camp. Anyway, this is BJ Waller saying thanks for watching day 44 of 100 Days of Gaming. You can catch me right here on uh, the BJ Waller channel. Uh, or, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can catch it on YouTube. Uh, my Real Millennium Group channel on YouTube right there. So do a search on YouTube for Real Millennium Group. And also my Real Millennium Group Twitch channel as well. Right there. Real Millennium Group on Twitch where I do my Guild Wars adventures. As a matter of fact, I will be doing one of those later on tonight. Getting back into the Canton adventures now that we have the Tyrion adventures all wrapped up. In the meantime, again, Sunday nights, 9 to 11 p.m. Catch me on uh, the Extra Life for Kids channel, please. Sign up to participate in the Extra Life. Please make a donation. If you liked what you watched today, please, just $1. That's all I'm asking. Just $1 uh, for, the, uh, for this video. Thank you very much. Till next time, I will see you in game.